Hi, and welcome to Parkinson's Wellness Wednesdays. My name is Alison, and I'm an exercise physiologist who works for Parkinson's New South Wales. Parkinson's New South Wales exercises are not intended or implied to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis or treatment. Please consult with your own health professional team before engaging in any online fitness programs. Our weekly Parkinson's Wellness Wednesdays are to encourage people living with Parkinson's, their families, carers and friends to challenge each other to be more active and learn why being more active is so important for people living with Parkinson's. Last week we talked about different forms of exercise to target different motor symptoms of Parkinson's. Today I'm going to expand on one of those symptoms and target rigidity or stiffness that's often experienced with Parkinson's. It is estimated that, about, that between 90 to 99 percent of people with Parkinson's experience rigidity or stiffness. Rigidity hinders the muscles from stretching and relaxing as they should. It's thought that the reduced dopamine levels disrupt the balance in the muscles to extend and relax when moving. So the messages get a little mixed up. And the result is rigidity or stiffness that's felt in the body. It can also be experienced as a loss of facial expression, posture becoming stooped, muscle pain and cramping, difficulty walking or changing direction or rolling over in bed or getting up from a chair, the reduced arm swing when you're walking and difficulties with general daily activities such as dressing and buttons and cutting things and writing. There are a few things you can do to manage the rigidity. Firstly, ensure your medication doses are at their optimum levels. If they aren't, this will affect your rigidity. Regularly visit your speech therapist. They can teach you um, facial and vocal exercises to help stopping those muscles becoming even more locked down and more rigid. Consult an occupational therapist for advice on devices and aids that can assist you in your daily routines. And most importantly, visit a physiotherapist and or an exercise physiologist for exercises to maintain and improve the movements in your muscles and joints, which will greatly improve the mobility and make your daily life easier. That's where we want. That's, in, that's the main key, making life easier. Um, you can help yourself also by doing regular stretching and flexibility exercises or join a yoga or tai chi class. Exercises will also help alleviate the aches and pains experienced by rigidity. Here are some exercises to help you limber up. This can be done seated or standing. It's a diagonal movement where um, both arms reach across the body to the opposite knee and back again. So we reach up as high as we can and we come across to the knee, twisting as low and far over as we can and back up to as high and back down. And we do 10 on one side and then of course we do 10 on the other. We've got to get the torso twisting as far as possible to help mobilize the back and the shoulders and all the other areas as well. The next is you lift the knees as high as possible. So you can do it either sitting, so by lifting your knees up and down as high as possible and or you can um, try repeating that standing up if you prefer. That adds a little bit more balance to the exercise. So one leg up at a time, but don't do this if there's any risk of falling or hold on to something to help assist you. And or you can practice going from seating to standing 10 times. And don't do this once a week or do it a couple of times a day if possible. It takes all of 20 seconds and it'll just help keep you limber through the day. Please type any questions you have into the comments section and I'm here and we'll answer them as soon as possible. If the question you'd like to ask is personal and you prefer not to write it in the comments, please send us a private message through Messenger or call our info line on 1800 644 189. Thanks for watching. Keep well and I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye.